All right, guys, I have something important to talk about today, and we're going to be talking about a device like this. Now, this is one option. As you can see, it's called the infrared thermometer. Now, I've been getting lots of questions recently on turtles, especially, and also bearded dragons and some other pets. And lots of people don't realize you cannot just take lights like I have here. I got a UVB light and a heat light. Now, I've adjusted these. I've had different bulbs in here, and you can raise or lower, and here's another bulb I had that was a little too hot. You have to test your temperature. You can't just throw lights on the tank and hope that your temperature is correct. It just cannot work. You need to test it so it's good for the species of animal you have. If you're looking at the top of my cage, that's bird feathers and dust because my birds are right over to the left usually. I took them out of the room so they weren't squawking during the video. But what this thing does is let you test temperatures. So these turtles should be around the 90s. And what this has here, if we look at the wall, you can see that red dot. And it'll tell you the temperature of the wall. So my house is, I got my uh, thermostat of my house at 67. However, this room has heat lamps in it for my turtles and my bearded dragon. So it looks like in this room it's about 69 degrees. Perfect. And what we want to do is test down here. So these things are not expensive. You see it, you're like, oh, it's some technical thing. It's probably expensive. No, you can get these things for under 20 bucks. I think this one I paid like 16 bucks for. You can get them as low as 10 sometimes. So it's not expensive. Most of them have a little laser, like you can see here. And some of them, some of them don't. I mean, there's different models. But what you're going to do is aim this down. And right now I've got it aimed down. You can't really see it because it's really bright down there. And that's showing 82, 85, and if I get it back kind of on my other turtle, top of his shell, it's actually showing right in the sunlight, 106, which is a little hot for a turtle, um, but as you see, if I put it a little bit away, it's like 76. If I keep putting it closer, it's like 80, 95. That's a great temperature for them. And that's right on the bottom. I'm actually pointing it like right here. There it is. You can see it there. So that, see that red light? and we are at 86, 87, 88 let's move it a little bit over here we're probably more around 90 now let's see 93 so as you can see that's perfect temperature for my turtles basking <coughs> if um, you got a temperature like over 110 too hot if you got a temperature under 85 too cold now again it depends on the species that you have um, I just have these two turtles in here. It's my Asian Reeves and Eastern painted. I have this piece of paper I printed in July 2008 and it showed the turtles I had. I guess I got one in 2009. I just have two now because the tank wasn't big enough and I didn't have room for a bigger tanks. so I went down to two and they're doing great together. Now if we go over to my bearded dragon, his tank's a little messy now. I threw in some veggies for him. I gotta do a cleaning here soon. But I do the same thing with him. Got his light up there. He uses a different light setup than my turtles. He's got a UVB heat light all in one. And uh, well, this top is really stuck. There we go. And I do the same thing for him. I take this, put it up on top, see where I'm pointing, and then check the temperature. So I'm just looking at it now. I've got an 88 there. I should be more closer to 100 with him. Kind of putting it right around there and uh, see what we get here. Looks like I'm getting around 88, which actually is a little cold for him. Uh, it is winter time, so like in the summertime, that'll be five to six degrees hotter just because in the summer my room stays a little warmer. So in the winter time, I could give him a little bit of additional um, heat, but 89, 88, 89 isn't horrible. It should be a little higher though. So I could think about moving this light down or getting a little bit higher wattage. And this is what you should be doing before you get a pet. You should set up the tank, you should test everything. Now these things are awesome because they're so quick, so easy. You point, you shoot, you get a readout. It's so easy. If you don't have one of these, I'd really suggest getting one. Like I said, they're pretty low cost. But if you don't have one of these, you can use a regular thermometer. You would just want to place it maybe on the near top of his rock. Or if we were back at the turtles, you'd want to place it 
basically right behind the turtle, right under the light, and see what the thermometer gets to. You can use an old style thermometer, or you could use one of those uh, electric ones. I've had some that are electric that work good, but um, you'd have to place it there. This thing I just find so easy and so good to use. Wanted to talk about it, and uh, just for fun, we're gonna zoom around the room. I've got a fish tank here, which now I'm just using for mineral storage. So I fish a lot, and I keep some minnows in here, and we'll just test the water. I'm assuming it should be around 67 to 70, because that's what my house is at. So yep, 67. So you can test anything at the press of a button. You can probably even test like a human if they have a fever, point it at their forehead or point it under their tongue. I mean, I don't know if that's the best way. You maybe could use the old style thermometer, but this should work just as good too. But I just wanted to talk about these. They're called infrared thermometers. Super simple, super quick, and make sure you test your reptiles, your turtles, and adjust. As you see, my lighting's up here on the wall, not just sitting on the tank. That's because the last bulbs I've had in here were too hot, so I had to raise it, and I kind of put it up on the wall there. If it's too hot, you want to raise the light or get a lower wattage. If it's too cold, you want to lower the light or get a higher wattage. Got to make sure you set that up correctly. So again, I've uh, gotten lots of questions. Uh, how do I know if the temperature is right? What do I do with my lights? And so on and so on. Well, you need UVB and you need heat. And whatever species you have needs a certain temperature, test it with a thermometer, something like this, or an old style, and adjust to uh, make it correct. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you guys later.